check one, two. Uh, hey, yo, Jayla. <laughs> what you doing? You ready for this song right here? Let's get it. What's up? This is Rockland. Today on Pastor Kings, we're hanging out in Montego Bay, Jamaica, in the Grand Palladium, Lady Hamilton. Engage. Guess who's back? Pastor Kings. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. The last time I went to Jamaica, I had an outstanding time. I went to a hotel called Ibero Star Rose Hall. The vibe of Jamaica is what stood out to me the most. After a week-long argument about if black people should vote in the American elections or not, I said, I'm out. This is what I'd rather be doing than worrying about when other people is voting on. I mean, you should vote, but if you don't want to, hey, good for you. The people in Jamaica even went as far as to say that we are now unofficial citizens and we're welcome to come back anytime. Since then, it has been my goal to get back as soon as possible. I took a few other trips within that time, but it was finally time to come back to Jamaica and have a second chance at that experience that I had the first time, but on a new level. The two and a half hours that it takes to get to Montego Bay from Atlanta makes this a carefree flight quicker than it would take for me to get to New York City. Jamaicans have a phrase that they use that stuck with me from last time. It goes, no rush, man. Everything is I read. Yeah, have a good rest of your day, man. Thank you. This week, but tomorrow, we're gonna get the biggest week, but look out that window, that's a nice, that's a nice view over there. That's them telling you to breathe, take it easy, and chill out. It sounds a lot like something I would say. In other words, enjoy every single minute of this experience, and there's no need to rush through them. Also, I talked up Jamaica so much last time that my brother and his shorty was also anxious to experience it for themselves. Coincidentally, they also had a big meet and greet with their energy company, so we made sure that our dates lined up for this trip. This time, I wanted to do it a little bigger than before, so I gathered up a little more money and promised that we would get a junior suite instead of a typical hotel room. One of my close friends had just went to the resort called Grand Palladium for his wife's birthday, and he said it was an outstanding hotel. And the junior suite actually wasn't that much pricier than the hotel room we stayed in prior. But even cooler, when we checked in, I let the lady at the front desk know I was a travel agent, I showed her my credentials, and she said we could stay in the junior suite for the first night, but for the remaining nights, she would actually upgrade us to a full bedroom suite. Jamaicans are very cool when they detect cool vibes. Yo, I can't stress the scenery enough about this place. Everywhere you turn looks like a postcard. God, or whoever you may believe in, is obviously a painter and his canvas is Jamaican. Yeah, man, let me see, 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 let me see. This hotel is very close to Montego Bay, but it's actually in what's called Lucia. It's about 30 minutes from the airport and 15 minutes from downtown Montego Bay. The airport shuttle is about 25 bucks per person, and I learned from last time to keep USD cash on me because it's used all over the island and it helps you avoid paying outrageous ATM fees. Did I mention how beautiful the landscape of not only the hotel but the mountains and waves surrounding was? <laughs> the food really took the cake. Going into one of the three buffets, most wouldn't expect much. But yo, I can honestly say that Grand Palladium Lady of Hamilton's buffet has some of the best food I have ever had on any vacation. And that's no exaggeration. I don't know where they got their recipes for oxtails, steaks, and curry goat, but they need to be teaching a class to all the other resorts. Even breakfast was amazing. Now I drink here and there, and I don't smoke weed, but it's obvious that all of the tourists out there were smoking. And if you were ever going to try it for the first time, I think this setting at a sunset would be the ultimate experience. Then I would imagine going to one of their live dance shows would be funnier than it already is. 
A lot of them danced really well, and about two of them were great singers. But some of the performances <laughs> were pure D comedy, and not in an on-purpose kind of way. Tashi look really nice. That's why y'all been out here getting high. Oh, huh? Maybe just a little bit. Somebody Ooh. been smoking. Next day was excursion day. Going to any Caribbean island and not doing at least something fun during one of the days, I feel is kind of a waste. We checked out a company called Chuka and they gave us an adventure to remember for a lifetime for about $150 per person. We started out riding horses through the water at Sandy Bay, which is about 15 minutes from the hotel by shuttle. It was enjoyable and easy to master. The instructors were very informative about Jamaica's landscapes, points of interest, and history. It was a dope horseback tour. Next, we headed up to the zip lining adventure. To get to the top of the mountains was a pretty long ride in the shuttle. People who don't travel much, well, I guess even me, would start to suspect that things ain't on the up and up. The road to the place was narrow and eerie. You'll probably start second guessing the company's legitimacy and start pondering who in your emergency contacts you can really count on and how much ransom money would they consider you worth. Pulling up to the actual zip lining area can give a real sense of relief. All right, no hands. Yeah. <laughs> then once zip lining starts, all of your worries are completely eliminated. I hadn't zip lined for years, so I was a little shaky at first, but once I got the hang again, I remember why I loved doing it so much in Mexico and Costa Rica. This trail had about seven lines and the instructors was cool in the game and easily earned the tip money I had. Next up was the perfect excursion for someone who doesn't want something that is physically exhausting. The option to cruise down the river at a lazy pace on tubes captained by a cool dude named Tony is highly recommended as well. The video is not doing this place justice for how beautiful and serene it was. We not heavy though? <laughs> The guy will explain a lot of Jamaican history and then top it off by giving the women a foot massage with some magical stones that they dug up from the bottom of the sea. Then you can even jump in and act a fool. At first the guy looked like an evil Captain America. See, but that's the thing about the Jamaican people that I learned the last time. Honestly, the first impressions you will have of them will suck. They look like they're waiting for an excuse to f somebody up. Then within two minutes of talking to them, it almost feels like you're talking to a cool, down-to-earth, humble friend that you've known all your life. I've become a big fan of the Jamaican people and Grand Palladium, Lady Hamilton. The bartenders knew their way around making drinks and made them strong. There were great activities like the casino, nightclubs, and topless pools. The shuttles would drive us to whichever part of the resort we wanted to go, and thank God they did because that place is huge. The rooms were clean and the appliances were up to date. There was a sports bar on the premises that stayed open all night where we drank, ate bar food, and played pool and ping pong, and watched sports on the big screen until the sun came up. I need to make them Passport King Jamaica color shirts. Ah, oh, this is dope right here. This is Bob Marley Legend shirt. The best part of this trip is I was able to pay for it with profits I've been making as an independent travel agent. Becoming an independent travel agent is the best way to make an extraordinary income while doing what we love, traveling. You'll be able to work from home or any location in the world on your phone or laptop. There's no experience necessary, 
You can work the system part-time until your residual income exceeds your day job income, like I did. All of the training is provided by people who love helping families and are already experts at creating generational wealth for themselves and their families. Once you look into it, it will be a no-brainer. Contact me on the link below when you're ready to take the next step to travel and financial freedom. The grounds, water, and all areas were super clean. The gym was dope. They take really good care of this place. But again, the standout was the picture-perfect scenery. Honestly, I've never seen a sunset like this before. I want y'all to see this one. Freaking amazing, ain't it? The staff takes great care of everything and there's even security at checkpoints keeping an eye on things. Many, many restaurants to choose from, but once we realized how great the buffet's cooking was, we didn't even bother with the seafood or hibachi restaurants anymore. Anybody could be an excellent photographer out here. It's almost like someone photoshopped the real life. Shout outs to my brother and his woman for joining us for this excellent adventure. River rafting and zip lining like a train. A passport. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? Cheers. This is Rockland. Today on Passport Kings, we are in the Lady, well, it's called Grand Palladium Lady, yeah, Lady something. I don't know, Lady of Rage, something like that. But um, I'm going to go over all the ins and outs of hanging out in this place, and then I'll hit y'all back up later. Engage. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use that one. So, y'all. Yeah. Next time you stay in Jamaica, make sure you go to the Lady of Rage like a king, a fast pork king. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Fast Pork King. Today, we're gonna take a little break before we go see the rest of this city. Sometimes bad, sometimes good. 